going on fellas and fans it's what we're do coming back at you with another video so today we're going to talk about the power rankings and why they have the Atlanta Falcons ranked so low why so much disrespect for Atlanta Falcons in the national media if you look at you know Atlanta Falcons are one of four teams that does not even have a prime time game this year looking over the schedule that were released yesterday but I'm here to tell you that it's all about the quarterback even though if you look at these two um, articles that was written up about the power rankings for the Atlanta Falcons and why they have determined that because of our draft, the Falcons are rate, rated so low. But I'm here to tell you that I don't think it's because of that. It's because of what they think about Desmond Ritter. And they could have just probably just put it in here because if they're talking about the Atlanta Falcons team as a whole, they are sadly mistaken if they think the Atlanta Falcons are rated this low. So, guys, let's talk about it. But before that, if you have not already, go ahead, please subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and please see that notification bell so you know when I drop another video. Please see the like button. So I know you guys like to hear what I talk about. And please share my video throughout the YouTube universe so more people can come in and hear me talk about these Atlanta Falcons. So, guys, like I said, I got two different power rankings here. We're going to talk about the first one where Atlanta Falcons ranked number 27 to whoever wrote this. Um, I didn't get the Arthur's name, but he said, let's let's start on a positive positivity. B. John Robinson is an enormous talent with the ability to become an immediate superstar in 2023. Problem is, anything less than instant greatness will make you wonder if the Falcons made the wrong decision with the eighth overall pick. Atlanta already had an excellent young backfield um, present in a th thousand yard rusher in Tyler Argier. And while the Falcons coach, Arthur Smith, contended on Thursday night that Robinson is a lot more than a running back, the University of Texas star is not an elite rusher, a franchise quarterback, or a starting caliber player at receiver slash cornerback. All bigger needs for the Atlanta Falcons entering the draft. Let's see how this plays out. So, like I said, he's basing, really basing, his power ranking off to this year's draft, right? And all right, out right off the bat, like I said, that is a lazy take because you can't base, base the team. The team, if, if you want to base this your grade for the draft, that's one thing. But you power ranking the, the entire team, you can't base it off the draft because of the things that the Falcons did this off season really really shows that whoever wrote this has, has not been paying attention to all the moves that the Falcons have made and we're going to get into those moves in just a minute so let's go ahead into the second one where the Falcons were rated a little bit higher and it was still about the draft so it says the Falcons are building something spec something reminiscent of the San Francisco 49 offense which means that it can function at a pretty high level with a like, top five elite quarterback. Mention the quarterback there. The B. John Robinson selection, the rest of the lead, put, put the rest of the leads on notice. The Falcons are going to be a night, night, nightmare matchup against, against this year. So basically, he's actually on the positive side about the draft, right? And But he did mention that the reason why, you know, because we don't have a, a, a good somebody good up on the center. Right? But it's still about the draft. Once again, another guy that has not been paying attention to the moves that the Atlanta Falcons have made this offseason. And the question I have, the question I have, if, if you're going to be an NFL insider and you're going to be an NFL writer, you probably need to know about all the teams, all the moves they made, all the, the, the transactions that took place for each team and you know the, the makeup of the team before you decide to go ahead and power rank him because I feel like it's just a lazy lazy thing for me personally being an Atlanta Falcon fan know all the moves they made we know how much better the Atlanta Falcons have gotten from last year to this year and we're going to talk about that right now so you just look at the new faces they brought in right on the defensive side of the ball, um, they brought in Kalen Ellis, David Amayala. Those guys came in from the Saints. 
Calais Campbell, Bud Dupree, right? That's the defensive additions that we have added from defenses. So that front seven is already improved. It's, it has already improved. We brought back Lorenzo Carter to also go with that front seven. You you expect guys like Armor Evicati and D'Angelo Malone to have that jump from year one to year two. Troy Anderson as well. Those three guys that was in the draft last year is going to get round savvy veterans that are going to help them, and you expect that jump to take place. So you just look at the front seven from the Atlanta Falcons, the additions we made, and the guys that we hope to improve this this offseason coming into this 2023 season should definitely be better. Now you take a look at what we did on the back end, signing Jesse Bates, um, bringing trading for Jeff Okuda, bringing in Mike Hughes, right? Drafting Clark Phillips, right? You you look at those moves. So the back half of the defense is going to be better as well. So that's the kind of things I don't understand. Why how they got these guys? Don't mention that. If they didn't like those those additions, those those moves that the Atlanta Falcons made, then they put that in there and then rank the teams. Don't base it off the draft. It's it's just lazy. It's, I really believe just a lazy take and. It's, it's so disrespectful because it, it, it takes away from what teams have done and how much work they put in, you know, this offseason, especially a team like Atlanta Falcons when they had a lot of money to spend for the first time. So lazy takes. I don't like neither one of these takes. I can understand the draft takes because people still upset about the idea that Atlanta Falcons took a running back in number eight, but make draft draft grades out of that, right? Even though your grades don't mean nothing because you really don't know how good a draft pick is for probably until the third year maybe, especially in the first round because you want to see how it panned out. But those are some lazy, lazy takes, and it really upsets me. All right? And then you look at the things we did on the offense side of the ball. Of course, we talked about we brought in B. John Robinson. You know, it's going to go along with the Swiss Army Knife and Cordell Patterson. Which will probably be used a little different this year because of the of the um the drafting of, of, of B. John Robinson. But they're correct. We do have a, a, a running back that ran over thousand yards. So that two headed monster between B. John and Tyler Algier is just gonna make the team better, which which I still which to me don't understand how we rank twenty seven when those additions are gonna make the team better. Um bringing back Kyle Pitts, who was injured last year. And add an addition of an underrated trade that we made from the Patriots, bringing in John Lou Smith as well. We know Drake London hopefully makes that jump from year to one, year year one to year two. And all those pieces, all those pieces are put around young Desmond Ritter to succeed. So if you're looking at all those pieces you're putting together, you can understand why they shouldn't be ranked as low as they are. You look at the other young teams in this league, like the Detroit Lions. Everybody's so high on the Detroit Lions. But the Falcons had just as good as roster now as the Detroit Lions has. Detroit Lions had issues stopping the ball last year. What additions did they make? Can somebody tell me that? They may have their power ranking to where they rank the Detroit Lions at. They have a veteran quarterback. That's why I believe at this point it's all about the quarterback. And I just rather for them to just say it instead of, coming out and making it about the draft, right? But even about the quarterback, I want to talk about that just a moment. We're going to talk about, I still don't understand it just using the quarterback as the measuring for how good this Atlanta Falcon team is going to be. I mean, if you look at the power ranking, they got Green Bay ranked 18th, right? Their quarterback has only started one game in this NFL. Yes, he's been in the league for years. But he have only started one game. He only have 83 attempts as a starter in the NFL. Only 83. I do so. I'm trying to understand how the the same fact you don't factor in the quarterback Jordan Love in the same predicament with with Desmond Ritter, where Desmond Ritter has 115 attempts. Right? He has he has more attempts. And his career as a starter than Jordan Love does, right? Also, you look at the Commanders. Watch Commanders. 
They're talking about starting Sam Howell. Sam Howell, Howell only got 19 attempts. But they're ranked higher. They got the, the, the commanders ranked 22nd. So if, if you're going to talk about, you know, the quarterback position, and I understand it. Des Ritter was, was drafted in the third round. Okay, we get it. He was drafted in the third round. Nobody believes in him, but it's nothing Desmond Ritter did in his last four games to let you know that he cannot be successful in the NFL. And if you put the pieces that I just mentioned around him, he he has a chance for success. I mean, the running game, we had the third best running attack in the league last year, right? You add B. John Robinson to that, right? You bring back a, a healthy Kyle Pitts and add a John New Smith to that offense, Right? Along, you still got CP there as well. Um, it, it really don't make no sense. I had to get on here. I had to talk about it because um, the disrespect is real. The Atlanta Falcons have no prime time games this year, right? I mean, it, the the thought that the Atlanta Falcons is just going to be a, a dumpster fire when they spent the second most, you know, cap this year to bolster their their team and build their team. Now they have a a good mixture of savvy vets and a young, talented squad on offense and defense, and we still rank 27th, 20th in the power rankings. And But at the end of the day, nothing Atlanta Falcons do about it. We can hide up on the radar all offseason. We can come out, and we can just do, the, do what we do. That's what we're going to have to do, get the respect, because at this point right now, Looking at the way the Atlanta Falcons looked at, um, it, it almost seemed like they expect the Atlanta Falcons to be in the top five of the draft next year, which is completely insane. It's, it's not going to happen. I can tell you that now. The team is too talented for those guys to actually even do that. Even if Desmond Ritter does not work out, our backup quarterback, Taylor Heineke, come in and we can be able to win more games than people think. I mean, it's the t the talent is there, the team is there, all the moves we made. But this right here just irritates me to the death because I believe it's more about not doing their homework. But they're supposed to be NFL writers and things like that. Because if they were really, because no nobody with with a good NFL mind could not tell me that they don't think the Falcons improved in a lot this year. They improved a lot. Their roster is so much better than it has been the last two seasons. And the Atlanta Falcons won seven games both of those seasons. I mean, just look at the rosters. Just look at the roster. And if it's all only about the quarterback, this team is set up for Desmond Ritter to succeed because he has enough talent around him across the board from an offensive standpoint, from a defensive standpoint, and even special teams have improved. Because if you look at the move we made in special teams as well, bringing a guy like Cardell Harge back, big, big, big signing. Mac Hollins, another guy who's big in the run game, also good on special teams. DeMarco Helms, I think he's going to be a big special team guy, drafted in the seventh round, a guy from Alabama. It's just a lot of good moves that Atlanta Falcons have made. This team is tremendously better than it have been in the last two seasons. And the disrespect to have the Atlanta Falcons ranked 27 in the league is a bunch of crap. And I'm just going to get on here and talk about it. And I believe because these guys who write these things do not look at the team as entirely. You make it all about the draft. We know you should know that building a team is more about the draft. It's drafts, you know, over years, and your, your free agent additions that you, it's about building the team and its whole. And from a standpoint from the Falcons, they have done a great job in the last three years getting to this point where they could actually improve this team. And to have them rank 27th or 20th is so disrespectful. I just had to get on here and talk about it. But guys, I want to hear what you got to say. Let me know what you think about this. Is this too low? Do we have to go out and get our respect? We're going to have to, right? Because it is what it is right at this point. We don't need no no primetime games. We're going to get out. We're going to have that chip on our shoulder, just like we had last year when they said Atlanta Falcons were going to win two games. We're going to be in the playoff hunt. We're going to come out, and we're going to smack teams in the mouth. 
We're going to have to do it because we're going to have to earn our respect. But this is a bunch of crap. 27, 20th with one of the best rosters in the NFL, in my opinion. Yes, we have a young quarterback. But that young quarterback is set up to be successful this year. So, guys, let me know what you think about this power ranking. Am I crazy? Am I out my mind? Should I just let it go? But just want to know what you think. This is your boy, Ricundo, coming back at you with another video. Peace.